Hello, and welcome back to Siberia. I just loaded a random save because today's episode is gonna be a bit haphazard, I think. I'm just gonna, I, there's a bunch of things I wanna test out, and we're gonna be loading and saving and loading and doing all sorts of stuff. So, let's just get to it. And the first thing I wanted to try out, we actually need to uh, go and talk to Helena again and get Basically, I want the receptionist to come in from cleaning the fountain, and then I want to- Wait, wait, Madame wait! Romansky? Fuck. Helena... Hold on. If I just go out here now... Yeah, God damn it! Oh, I forgot. Shit. Um... Yeah, I actually uh, wanted to do another thing. I, I need to actually go and check the, uh... Fuck. Okay. Good start. Alright, so now we load again. And yeah, there, there's gonna be a lot of loading here, because I need to go back, and I need to find out that phone number for what I assume is the reception for this hotel or spa resort, right? Maybe? I don't know what number it is, but when we called it when he was out, it did nothing. But I want to see what happens if you call it after he comes back in, so I need to actually remember it, because you can't go and check when he's in the reception. But, like, it, hmm, it's weird, it wouldn't be anything, right? Oh, right, I have to do that. But it couldn't be anything, because no point we haven't done it yet, and now he's just coming back and he's gonna be in the reception, right? Unless it's, like, later on? I, I don't know. But I'm just gonna experiment a bit. Probably just gonna do a bunch of time-wasting. This is probably not gonna be anything, but I'm just curious and I wanna find out. There are a couple things that might be a bit more interest. Oh god damn it! Good start. Good start. Good start. Might be a bit more interesting, but yeah, let's let's see. Could also do some cutting if if I need to do a lot of like traveling around and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. So, wait, it wasn't even here. Oh right, I fucking have it. Oh god damn it. Well, I might as well point out that I was fucking blind. Hey, it's Hans, right fucking here. I just, I scanned the entire list and somehow didn't see Hans Vorlberg. He came here 1981 and stayed for almost four years. No, wait, over four years. Yeah, interesting. And he had a code 1478. So I'm thinking, like, obviously we've already figured out the, uh, the door puzzle, but I kind of want to load before that and just try 1478 just to see if anything special happens. Probably not, but I'll try to make a note of that. 1478, 1478. And also, I noticed someone called uh, Boris, and I thought, oh shit, is that like Boris, the, the pilot, even though he said, oh, he never got to go here? Maybe he was lying, or like maybe he was just too drunk or something, I don't even know. But it, I don't think it's him, because I think Boris was called like, Charov or something like that, his uh, last name, so I don't know. I also don't know why there's no departure date. Like, is this the, the current date? Are these people here right now? Surely not, because all the other ones, even the day visitors, have had like... Yeah, this is weird. It, they actually, well, I guess they might still be staying here and just like, they're out somewhere? I don't even know. It's kind of odd. Or maybe he just hasn't filled that in. But yeah, okay, 1478, I'll remember that, but now we will actually load again. And I, I did try calling the number right now, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure I did and nothing happened, but I guess I'll just check it quick, just for like, a baseline. That's the wrong one. This one. 46, 40, oh god, there's gonna be so many numbers for me to keep track of. What was the first one? 1478? 46, 43, 36, 43. Nope, already forgot it. 46, 43, 36, 43. 46, 43, 36, 43. I'm pretty sure I did this. God, all these numbers. Yeah, nothing. I thought it would be the reception here, but yeah, now, now we'll just try that from this save after talking to 
Madame Romansky. Probably won't be anything. Almost certainly. But let's just check. You Okay, what about right now? Nope. And just for good measure, I'm gonna go all the way back to where he is. Like, at the reception. Not that that would make any difference. I'll just cut. Damn, I thought he was, like, getting up for the phone. What? But no. And I also just wanted to test out, I, even though I know this is not going to be anything, but I wanted to... Uh, is this one fine? No, he's out there now. I wanted to load one before I could even possibly know about this number. So, like, right here, and then we head inside. Oh, and then we have to talk to him. Uh, well. And then I call it, when I shouldn't even be able to know it. But, yeah, this is nothing. I'm just trying to, like, Easter egg hunt. But, again, this game isn't really a game that would have Easter eggs like this. As far as I know, I haven't heard of anything like this. Nope. Alright, so that whole thing was a giant waste of time. Sorry about that. But we're gonna waste more time, so... Now, let's load here, and did I already pull this? I don't know, but I want to try pulling it. And I'll do it a couple times. Because this is before we've even talked to Helena. So now, I'm gonna go talk to Helena, and she's gonna tell me to call the servant, and I'm gonna not call, or uh, use the bell, and I'm gonna, gonna just head in and talk to him, and see if she says, I've called you several times, even though that was before we even knew that we were supposed to call him. I don't know. So we'll see. Because it would be really weird if they had, oh, I called you many times if you hadn't even looked at the bell yet. If you didn't, like, if you completely missed it and you didn't know it was there, then you can't have, you can't say that. That wouldn't work, right? Surely they can't have just assumed that you would ring the bell without even, like, questioning it. I don't know. It would be weird. All right, so let's talk to James and see what he says. Hello there. Good afternoon, miss. Um, maybe I say that, but... My name is... Please to be... No, I would... I don't... Mad in that... I'm looking for Madam... 330... Oh. Is it possible? As you wish. But I've already Can done that. Not a... So... Ma come... No. Okay, this is weird. Have you ever heard... The name... Really? That why must don't w do you know f why it's a sub and finally do you know Matt I have been no I okay well, I'm going so to if you don't ring the bell she doesn't even acknowledge that Helena asked asked you to ring for the servant interesting oh right I forgot um I'm just gonna make another save here because we're gonna continue on from this one but. I did want to also, like I said, just load this one and just try 1478. Probably won't be anything, but let's just see. 
Doesn't look like that works. Nope. And if we go out here and like check the uh, the door, it's not gonna be open. I thought maybe Hans would have like a special code because he was the creator, and maybe it would like have a special message or something. But nope, nothing of the sort. So now we can actually just continue on with our journey. I've I've tested enough. Well, I mean, there's still a couple more things to test with a bell thing, but. I'm done testing pointless stuff, at least. So now, let's go and ring the bell once, and then talk to James, and just see what he says about that. Because if she says, I've called for you several times, that would also be kind of weird if you've only done it once. But... I could see that being a thing. Like, this seems a bit more... Uh, like, reasonable, or... Something you can just o overlook if she just said, oh, nope, didn't mean to do that. If she just says, I mean, I guess you technically ring it like it sounds multiple times, so it would make sense. I just want to see if they like put that much thought and care into it. That would be kind of interesting. Yeah, that's definitely one of the things that this game doesn't do well. I mean, it's not really, like, a huge negative. It's not something you have to expect, but I just enjoy when adventure games do that kind of stuff, when they reward the player for doing weird things or doing things out of order or, like, yeah, just anything. Just, like, small lines that your everyday player wouldn't ever hear. Is this, that's always fun to explore, but this game doesn't really do that. James? James, yeah, I've run you? for you several times. I haven't. All right, but that's times. fine. Manuel Let's just go with this. To bring her back inside. Several times, you say? Are you sure? I didn't hear anything. That's right, several times. Quick, go and get her. I'm pretty sure we listened to all of this, right? Madame so yeah. Don't worry. Yep, I'm pretty sure I... Listened all the way through that, so now we can go back outside and we can first maybe talk to Elaine again just to see if she says anything like, hey, won't come out. Maybe she'll give some sort of hint. Probably not, though. I think she's just going to say, like, the same message about calling for the servant again. And yeah, right here is a thing. Kind of easy to miss. I'm pretty sure I missed that, oop, missed that, like, for a while, the first time I played it. I got the bell, but I just didn't understand, like, what to do. And I didn't see the pole that you can hang it on closer to the building. Madame Romansky? So, is James... Yeah. So... We gotta take the bell and put it up closer. Right here. And I guess I just have to exit out. No? He still doesn't hear it? Oh, that was a different tone. Maybe three times? That was the same one. James? I actually don't remember this. Wait, is there another? Pull somewhere, like, even closer? Surely not. I guess I'll just go talk to him. Maybe he'll... This time he'll say, yeah, I heard it, but... Fuck the salt wind. Am I right? And I'll say, no. Get the fuck out there. You big hunk of junk.
James, what are you waiting for? Don't tell me you didn't hear the bell this time. The bell did indeed ring, but it is very windy outside, isn't oh it? Oh my god. Uh, yeah, it is a bit gusty. But what's that got to do with it? Madam doesn't understand. She says an automaton doesn't need protection, but my insides don't like the salty wind. I'm afraid to go out, you know. And if you wore my mask... To protect you against the salt, would that help? Isn't it? What? Oh, most certainly. What? What? What do you mean? So, like, the entire thing with the salt wind is just for your, like, mouth? Can't you just keep it closed? Or, I guess, nose as well? Oh, hi, whoever. Office, maybe. Katie Poo. No, it's mom. So, have you met her yet? This Helena person? I have. What, what's she like? Does she remember Frank? Hi, Mom. Yeah, sure. I met her and, yeah, she's living in Arlbad. You can thank Frank for me again. I'll remember too, honey. So, what's Arlbad like? Maybe Frank can take me there one day. It's this seaside resort, Ma, but it isn't what it used to be. You'd be real disappointed. Hey, this is really nice Maybe still. Right. So Come on. Come. Is that mission all over then? I guess it is a bit worn no, down, though. Ma, I still haven't found the air I'm looking for to wrap up the case. Helena Romanski's a kind of detour here. Listen, Munchkin. I get the distinct impression that you're being led up the garden path. Why don't you just come home? Tell your boss this air just doesn't exist. That you've done all you can. Et voila. Do you want me to call him for you? Yep, Ma, that's please, don't get pretty much what you Looking could do. Varlberg is what I'm being paid for. But I also just want to find him for myself. And that's the problem here. You're just as stubborn Not that it's a problem. problem. Don't complain that your mother didn't warn you. Don't worry, I won't. But yeah, it stopped being about actually finding him for my job, and now I just want to find him. Because we need to know, right? But yeah, really, I thought it was like his, uh, like joints and stuff, and the gears, and the gaps in between and that was the problem with assault when not just like oh he needs to wear a gas mask that's kind of odd so i can't talk to james now i can only talk to helena but let's do that i suppose hello oh what's that oh oh no point weighing myself down lemons and what is that like honey maybe not Okay, so lots of stuff for mixing drinks, and we got the vodka as well, which I assume is for this, but let's it's talk to her. It's a real honor to meet you, Madame Romansky. People have told me so much about you. Mm. People still talk about me. Oh dear. Of course. Everyone tells me how wonderful you were, how you were one of the greatest singers of the century. Ah, so I was, my dear. Humble. But surely you didn't come here just to dig up the past. Um. I guess I'll save mission and help for last, I think. So let's talk about the rest of the stuff. Like I said, I'm a lawyer, and to tell you the truth, I don't know much about classical music. But after talking to Mr. Borodin and Mr. Malkovich, they really made me want to hear you. Oh, you are too late, my child. Ten years too late. And how is dear Frank? Do tell me. Oh, I am still angry with him for leaving like that to America. Don't be offended, but I never suspected those cowboys actually have any Howdy. real music. Americans? I don't think he sings much anymore. The odd gala, the odd charity event. Anyway, he sends his love. Oh, his love? <laughs> Do you hear that, James? There is someone who still loves me on the other side of the Atlantic. I never said they didn't, madam. What about this other gentleman? What is his name? Borodin? Do I know him? Yes. You once sang in Komkalsgrad. An incredible recital, if the director's account is anything to go by. If you only knew how moved he still is. He's another one who still adores you. I must confess that seeing one of my greatest admirers once more would do wonders for me, but... Ah, oh, my voice. It is so... 
Ah, I couldn't. Okay. And just to like confirm. Said, yep. I, I, what? Yeah, I must. Okay. So let's wait with these and talk about Hans and... Should we even talk about Hans? Let's go for Strange. it. I get the impression that Hans Vorarlberg turned up here too. You know Hans Vorarlberg? Not exactly. I'm looking for him to sort out this inheritance case. But I've had to snoop around in his past a bit to get on his trail. And I guess he's kind of a close friend now. You knew him, didn't you? Oh, yes. I knew Hans Wollerberg. Do you Wollerberg? hear this? Oh, if you had had the chance to meet Hans. My Hans. Oh, my God. What has become of him? Where is he? Now she I'm sounds like an adoring Madam, fan. That one is not without certain complications. I'm sorry, but I have no idea. That's the goal of my mission. To find Hans Varlberg. That's why I have to get back to my train as quickly as possible and to get out of Komkalsgrad. And you cannot find him without the train? The train is one of his last inventions. So is Oscar, the automaton engineer. I get the feeling that the two of them are going to lead me to him. Did you hear that, James? I might see Hans again. I have dreamed so long of meeting my dearest sweetheart again. Oh boy. Oh, if only I could sing. If only I were in Paris, I would ask George for that miracle cocktail. The one that only he knew how Miracles? to Miracles? Wouldn't I, James? Yes, madam. As you have frequently said, without that famous cocktail, your French tour would have probably been cancelled. I don't understand. An extraordinary tale, my dear. It was December. And it was terribly cold and damp. I had to play the role of Tatiana that evening at the opera. But since the morning, I had lost my voice. It drove me completely mad with worry. I don't know how George, the barman at the Moritz Hotel, heard about my affliction. But he brought me up a Oh, maybe that's the that telephone number. A strange concoction. But it turned out to be a miracle cure. My voice returned to me in an instant. That's amazing. That's just what we need. We're going to mix you up a cocktail. Ah, oh, my dear child. It is impossible. George never told me the recipe of the drink. He loved to keep his trade secrets. He said it made him absolutely irreplaceable. <laughs> well, I'm going to get George to tell me. He hasn't yet met with my powers of persuasion. Well, I guess we found out pretty much everything we need to know, so I should have just talked, like, straight through. So let's go back and just talk about mission. I'm wrapped up in a case at the moment, and because of it, I met a certain Mr. Sergei Borodin, director of the Komkalsgrad Industrial Complex, situated to the northeast of here. Ah, oh, I remember that factory. <gasps> oh, a sad city indeed. <laughs> what am I saying? They all were... Madame Romansky, this Borodin is one of your biggest fans. If you could come and sing for him there, it would make one of his biggest dreams come true. Sing? Oh, my poor girl. I have not sung for years. Time has taken its toll. My voice is like the rest of me. Faded and wan, like my heart. Oh, Hans dumped her. Aren't you going a bit far there? I bet you've still got a great voice. Oh, you are the sweetest cherry, my dear. I am not senile yet, but I look reality in the face every time I look in the mirror. And I can tell you, singing is something I did in the past. Madam Romansky, please understand I would never have come so far to disturb you if I didn't really need your help. I understand, my dear, but my health is failing me, as does my voice. Believe me, no one is sadder than I. And that was a quick one. Look, please, you absolutely have to come and with she me doesn't to give up. Grad. It's the only way I'm going to get my train back and be able to carry on my journey. Your train? That's right. I've been traveling on this amazing locomotive with this automaton engineer. 
He isn't a million light years away from your James. Do you hear that, James? And Automaton? You have a twin brother? How delightful. And I thought I was the only person alive able to put up with such a peculiar butler. Permit me to express my surprise, madam. Surely the fact that I remain in your service guarantees my uniqueness. Oscar isn't my butler, though. He has a great independence of thought. Sometimes he does whatever suits him. Just like you, James. Isn't that funny? Madam, we'll not be surprised to hear that she is strongly advised not to undertake a journey that, unless I am very much mistaken, will tire her needlessly. James, only one of us will make that decision, and that person is me. I'm very curious to meet your automaton, my dear. Where is it? He had to Where? stay to the train in Kamkalsgrad. The director used his hands for the final touches on his pianist. It's the same pianist that will accompany you when you sing. How when quick. you sing, she Another really doesn't thing. give up. And this one, can you even play along with me? Play for me? Ah, why does my voice abandon me so now? And somehow she doesn't think it's creepy at all. You must have had a fantastic... Yes, we're leaving out some details. So exhilarating. Ah, much more than you could ever imagine. I used to sing the finest melodies of the moment in the most fantastic theatres around the world. I have been hailed by kings and courted by princes. Grown men would sink to their knees when they heard the first notes of my recital. Truly humble! My voice could break crystal glass and hearts, many hearts. I'm not surprised. Then one day sickness steals away the gift life has given you. My voice started to betray me. I started to get migraines. My health failed. They sent me here to let the spa town weave its healing spell. I was only going to rest for a month, but then the month became a year and the years get longer. But you look so healthy to me. Oh, thank you, my dear. And that's about it. Can't talk about Errol Bad. So, I really need to end off the episode. So I'm going to end it off here. I'll let you get a bit of rest. After these messages. Thank you for listening to me. It was a real pleasure, my child. You are a charming young lady. And simply talking to you has warmed my soul. I'm going to leave it off here. And we'll go through all the dialogue one more time next time. Just to make sure. Well, I'll do it before I even record. Just to check if there's anything else to talk about. Probably not. And, well, my first instinct is trying that number, which might be that barman, just magically. Who knows? Maybe, maybe we should talk to, no, well, let's talk to Felix next time. But I pretty much talked to him, so I might have to skip through all that. I don't know, we'll see. Hope you enjoyed the episode, though. Thank you for watching, and let's make some more progress next time. Bye-bye!